I think I got those backwards. Your husband today? 
today. <laughs> He's my husband today and every day for the last 50 plus years now. Um, haven't gotten rid of him yet. So, um, I decided to start with something that was actually our first class two years ago when we first started doing cooking classes, which had to do with gluten, only I decided to expand it a little more to not just gluten, because gluten isn't the only way to replace meat. Um, it's a very high protein way of, and so, and we're, we'll talk about that a little bit more um, when we get into the health part of it. Um, so we have a, a wide variety of things, and in actuality, I probably had half a dozen other dishes I really wanted to try, but I never got to. So, um, the gluten, like I'm going to show you how to make during the demonstration, is what's been used in the Indian coconut um, curry with apples, which smells really good. <laughs> I had fun making that one. Um, the next one is a vegan sloppy joes, and it has mushrooms and I forget what else. It's, it was an interesting one. The sauce was more complicated than what you actually put into it. And I put some crackers there so you can put a little bit on a cracker and kind of get the idea of if you were eating a sloppy joe. There's rolls over there. And there are rolls over there, that's true. I wasn't thinking about rolls. That was, Monica decided to let us try some of her new rolls she's making. Um, this one is a millet loaf. This one is vegan ground beef. With parentheses on it because it's not really beef. Um, it's gluten free and oil free. And you would use it in anything that you wanted um, a hamburger type something in, whether you were making a lasagna or a spaghetti sauce or you know anything that you would normally put burger into. Um, so it's there for you to just take a little bit so that you can taste it. Don't take a big huge bowl because it's meant to be used in other things, but I wanted you to be able to do it. This one I can't tell you anything about except I know the recipe is in your packets when you get them. And Ella made this. She calls it pâté de gluten. Fancy. In other words, it's gluten. But it's her version. Um, and she did put the recipes in the packets for you. This one is a Beyond Meat meatloaf. It's made with Impossible Burger, which I still not sure I like. I don't like the smell of it when you first take it out of the package. But it, after you put some other things with it, it, it actually seems pretty good. Um, so that's that one, and then I'm going to make my husband have to spin around here. The oatmeal mushroom patties, those things on that table are all vegan, okay? There's a few things over here that are vegan, but the majority of them are vegetarian, not vegan, which means they may have dairy in them, they may have cheese in them, like the cheese balls, which are um, Lynette made. She made them for pot like a few weeks ago. She does not normally cook. She said, I made the one thing I do cook. She has a husband who's trained as a chef. She doesn't have to cook. Um, and I really like them. And I said, would you make a double batch for me? And so yesterday she made a double batch. She said it gave her migraine. <laughs> but they're really good. But they are not vegan. Because not everybody is ready to jump from being a carnivore like my husband to being a vegan like Harold. And Harold, Harold has a great story on his why he's a vegan and one that we should all pay attention to. The oatmeal mushroom patties are vegetarian as well, and so are my scallops. And you're going to think this is weird. The name of the recipe is scallops mozzarella. There is no mozzarella in them. I'm guessing I got this recipe from our pastor's wife, who used to, was our pastor in Helena. And she, it was a recipe that she had taken and made into something vegetarian. The scallops are that green can that's sitting on the table. They're Worthington scallops. The cans are now four ounces <laughs> smaller, but just as expensive. So I don't know if I'll keep making this dish or not, but I do like it. It's one of my favorites um, and one that I used to bring to potluck a lot. Um, Hasselback potatoes. My version, it's not the recipe that's in your packet. I played with it. Um, vegetable chickpea fritters. Gluten steaks, which is what I'm going to show you 
how to make the gluten tonight. But almond rice loaf is a little dry. I left it in the oven too long. I should have covered it. And then this is, I, I always have people who say, oh, I don't like tofu. Well, tofu is great if you know how to season it because it'll, it'll take any flavor you want. So these little guys, I will warn you ahead of time, I just got some more of my favorite red curry powder seasoning. And so they're, they, they have a little afterbite on them, um, but they're good. Over here is a vegan New York cheesecake, gluten-free, which is why I have that funny little thing about the s'mores box there because that was the cookie that I used to make the crust so that I could make sure that the crust was one that was gluten-free and whatever free and whatever free and whatever free so that nobody would have an allergy to it. And then there's some blueberries there to stick on the top. Oh, and um, Montica has been um, experimenting with her sourdough to make dinner rolls. So she brought some dinner rolls for us for tonight to go with our all our little goodies to taste. So we have lots of things to taste. Um, I heard Harold mentioning to someone that um, this is a tasting. Don't think you're at a potluck, okay? The idea is to take a little bit of everything and decide what you like and what you don't like. Um, if you don't really dislike something, don't eat it if you don't really like it. Um, but that will help you know when you get your packet and your recipes to know which recipes you want to repeat and for yourself or maybe tweak a little bit for yourself. Um, some of the recipes that I've made tonight are brand new recipes to me and so they've been pretty much made according to the recipe. Um, I'm very bad after when I make it the second, the third, the fourth time I start tweaking. But um, I try to stick to the recipe the first time around so you know what Pretty much all the recipe. The only one that I didn't do that on, which one over there? Something over there I said I played with. I don't remember which one it was. The potatoes. You said the potatoes were different. Oh, the potatoes, that's the one. Yeah, I did that one totally different. I kept the, the general idea that I had fun putting seasonings and things on it that they didn't call for. Um, I think I can guarantee that even though you take just a little sample from each one, you'll be full by the time. Oh, believe me. <laughs> you'll be full. Um, silverware plates are there in the center. There's water over here. There's hot water over there by the, um, if you would like a cup of tea instead of just water, you're more than welcome to please help yourself. And so let's have blessing and we'll get started. Dear Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for the rain that you sent today. It was much needed. And we ask, Lord, that you will watch over us tonight and our families, wherever they might be. Bless them and bless this food now to our body's needs. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Help yourself. You can take a plate and start a fat. It's one or this one. It doesn't matter which 